Good evening. You're watching 6 p.m. Prime with me, Akshita Nandakopal. The shocking news of business magnate Cyrus Mystery's death. It's also led to a lot of questions about road safety, about whether we as Indians are doing enough and how perhaps all of us need to now focus on wearing the rear seatbelt as well. We're going to be getting in a number of experts to speak on this and much, much more. Let's begin with the headlines. Bengaluru goes underwater after overnight rains, classrooms flooded, massive waterlogging and traffic snarls return. Water supply may be hit in parts of the city for two days. Rape accused Murugasya denied bail. Chitradurga court sends him to jail till September 14th. Center summons Wikipedia after cricketer Arshdeep Singh's page is hacked to show him as a Khalistani. Pakistan handles trolling him for dropping catch of Pakistani batsmen on the scanner. First look of newly revamped Central Vista. Prime Minister Modi to open it for general public on Thursday. External Affairs Minister Jay Shankar hits out at past governments for distancing India from Israel due to vote bank politics. Says Prime Minister Modi boosted ties with Tel Aviv, keeping India first. <laughs> तो अभी एक बार आप वोट बैंक पॉलिटिक्स से आप निकल आए तो फॉरेन पॉलिसी पर भी असर और ये इजराइल ये उदाहरण And Liz Truss defeats Rishi Sunak to become UK Prime Minister third woman PM to hold UK's reins and take over the Tory leadership The shocking news that came in on Sunday, former Tata Sons chairman Cyrus Mistry, who died in a tragic car accident in Maharashtra's Palgar. He was in the back seat. He didn't have his seatbelt on. And next to him was his friend Jahangir Pandoli, who was sitting right next to him, also died in the accident. The two passengers in the front seat have survived. They're being treated for their injuries. A lot of you have asked, what about the curtain airbags? It doesn't, uh, does not open for Mystery or Pandoli because of the fact that they didn't have their seat belt on. And let's face it, most of us while going in our vehicles, seated in the back, think it's safe and so don't wear our rear seat belts. That's why we're saying that this incident, this tragic road accident is perhaps a wake-up call for all of us. A head-on crash into a divider that left the car mangled. Look at the wreckage of the car in the Cyrus Smith 3 accident and you'll notice that the vehicle at the back wasn't completely ruined. In fact, the body of the luxury SUV seems fine. And that's led to many questions over why the backseat passengers, including billionaire Cyrus Smith 3, died, whereas the driver and the front passenger survived. Front seat occupant Darius and driver Anaita were caught dazed due to the impact. But luckily both survived the crash and their airbags opened in time, protecting and cushioning both from slamming their heads into the dashboard. But Cyrus Mistry and his friend Jahangir, who were in the back seat, were not that fortunate. The answer is simple and it puts the focus on the most basic safety norm on the road, your seat belt. Cyrus Mistry didn't wear his seatbelt while seated in the back, something most of us admit it are guilty of. If the person was wearing seatbelt, the couple of people, the two people who are sitting at the uh, rear, they could have been saved with some serious injuries. In case of an uh, event, uh, such events with the over speeding, that the person will be thrown to the uh, front seat of it, where in the moment can really severely impact the people sitting in the front as well. So the disaster could be much more severe. Wearing a seat belt in the back seat could have saved Cyrus Mistry's life. This simulation of a head-on crash shows you what happens to anyone seated in the back. It's a common misconception that the rear passenger has the seat in front to block him or her. But the reality is that in such a crash, the impact alone will kill you. What 
is the most important factor for safety is the need for people, even in back seats, to wear seat belts. If they do not wear seat belts, having the safest of cars and the most best of airbags, as Mercedes has, there's no uh, uh, Mercedes does not do anything which is not absolutely top class. It still doesn't help. The same crash with a seat belt won't be fatal, and could be the difference between life and death. Bureau Report, India Today. So in that report, we explained to you exactly why there's a need to wear a rear seat belt as well. And there are many, many crash tests that have confirmed that as well. Let's break that down for you. What happens if you don't wear your rear seat belt? I know I'm guilty of it. I know many of you also. More often than not, don't wear the rear seat belt. So let's play out for you some scenarios. We've gone through a number of simulations done by experts to show what happens. Scenario one, the rear passenger isn't wearing a seat belt. Like in the case, unfortunately, of Cyrus Mystery, this is what happens. They're pushed right ahead uh, upon impact in a head-on crash. Airbags not there to save them. They hit the seat or go right up front. Scenario two, the unbelted passenger in the rear has an infant on the lap. How guilty are we of doing this? More often than not, infants are made to sit on a, an adult passenger's lap. Extremely dangerous for both the infant and the adult passenger. Let's take you through scenario three, again, using simulations. If there is a child seated at the back of the car, not wearing the seat belt, unsupervised, it's again extremely dangerous and highlights for you why there's a need to wear seat belts no matter what. The fourth scenario that we're going to be showing you is if the passenger seated at the back of the car, the rear passenger, is wearing a seat belt and then there's a head-on crash, what happens? You'll see that the damage is minimal, the impact on the passengers at the back too is minimal, much like those seated in the front. It means that it could save your life in case of a crash, in case of an accident. Scenario number five, how children should be seated in the rear seat of the car. Ensure that they're strapped into specialized children's seats. It comes with more seat belts, it comes with more coverage, and thereby ensures that the child is protected in case there is a crash. And these are very important simulations that explains to you why there's a need for us to talk about wearing the rear seat belt and why perhaps what's happened at Cyrus Mr. as tragic as it is, proves to be a wake-up call for all of us. I'd like to also introduce on this broadcast Mr. Piyush Tiwari, who's a founder and CEO of Save Life Foundation. They focus largely on these kind of accidents, give us data-driven details also about what's happening in the country on road safety. Mr. Tiwari, I'd like to begin by asking you uh, about your interactions on the ground. Is there a lack of awareness, Mr. Tiwari, when it comes to the need to wear rear seat belts? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, when we look at, uh, when we've conducted, a, uh, you know, when we conduct surveys across highways and in 2019, we released a detailed report on this, uh, only 7% of road users admitted to using the rear seat belt, uh, you know, once or more in a week. Uh, so 93% of road users uh, were either not using it or had no clue how to go about it in the first place. So I think there's a, a big disconnect in terms of um, uh, the availability of seatbelts, which is now quite wide, versus the usage of the seatbelts uh, in, the, in the vehicles. Yeah. I'd, I'd also like to introduce now on this broadcast Rahul Ghosh, who's joining us from the Auto Today team. Uh, Rahul, I, I think the news of what happened at Cyrus Mystery shocked us all. But as I've been saying from the beginning of this broadcast, it's essentially a lesson to all of us. I'm guilty of it, of not wearing a seatbelt when you sit at the back of the car because you assume that it's safer. The reality is it most definitely is not safer in any way. Yeah, it's very true. You know, like um, in India, seatbelts are a new phenomenon. Uh, the law which states that wearing of seatbelts in the front uh, of the car is mandatory has come very recently. And let me be honest with you that most of the people wear seatbelts up front just to avoid chalans. Now that very should true. change. What I mean to say is that every manufacturer goes to massive lengths to create a vehicle which is as safe as possible. Now each car comes with the exact number of seatbelts which the motor vehicle registers as passengers allowed in the vehicle. So if a vehicle can seat five passengers, that particular vehicle will have five seat belts. Now, 
when we have five seat bills there is a reason and as per the reports you know reports which we have just shown on television uh, it's very clear that it is important for all passengers to wear the seat belt because you have to understand that the car is traveling at a very high speed and when yeah. it hits a wall or something whatever is kept inside the car becomes like a you know like a missile inside the car mm. and it will just come forward so there the seat belt is of utmost importance because it pulls you back into the seat so all the features in the car work in tandem to provide safety to the passenger you know and there's a question also rahul there's a question that's doing the rounds a lot saying why didn't the airbag get deployed at the back that this is a problem with the car not true at all we'd also like to explain that saying if you don't wear your seat belt the airbag will not get deployed and that's what happened in the luxury vehicle that mr mistry also was traveling in because he wasn't wearing the seat belt in the rear you didn't have the airbags getting deployed there were a lot of questions about that as well what we also want to do here in our next report is put out details and rahul I'd request you to stay on with me as well as mr tiwari i want to put out also the footage that's emerged of this ill-fated crash that happened on Sunday in which Cyrus Mistry died along with Jahangir the CCTV footage shows that clearly the car yes was speeding it was Anahita Pandole who was driving she's a Mumbai based gynecologist her husband Darius Pandole was sitting next to her and Darius's brother so Anahita's brother in law Jahangir was behind along with Cyrus Mistry you can see that the car was speeding essentially hit right into a divider a four lane road was merging into a three lane road and that's where tragedy struck a high speed car crash that has left india in shock new cctv footage has emerged that shows the mercedes suv business tycoon cyrus mistry was traveling in moving towards a checkpoint minutes before the fatal accident on the bridge on surya river Cyrus Mistry, Jahangir Pandole, Dr. Anahita Pandole and her husband Darius Pandole were traveling from Udwada to Mumbai on Sunday when the mishap took place near Charoti village in Palgad district of Maharashtra. While Cyrus Mistry and Jahangir Pandole died, Anahita and Darius are battling for their lives. Their SUV that was speeding apparently spun out of control and rammed the bridge's concrete railing. Some mystery sahab ka kuch body aur koi lady chala rahi thi gaadi. Tej raftar se gaadi aa rahi thi Mercedes aur ye samne bridge pe usme accident ho gaya bahut dukhad ghatna ho gayi ye. Gaadi ki halat ekdam khasta ekdam bilkul bole to pura aage ka show damage ho gaya hai. Pura patra patra. और टायर भी एकदम ब्लास्ट जैसा हो गया आगे का लेट मी जस्ट टेक यू बैक टू द स्पॉट दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वेयर इट वेयर द मर्सिडीज क्रैश द एयर बैग ब्लू अप एंड द इंटेंसिटी विथ विच ऑल फॉर ऑफ दम फ्लू आउट ऑफ द कार कैन बी डिस्क्राइब बाय द फैक्ट दैट वेन डॉक्टर अनाइटा पंडोले वॉज फाउंड लाइंग ऑन द फ्लोर ऑन द रोड आउट हियर हर हेड वॉज रेस्टिंग ऑन द सीट सो यू कैन इमेजिन द इम्पैक्ट एंड द डैमेज द सीट and the overall car must have taken the three lane road in the direction of mumbai splits into two parallel bridges over surya river near charoti experts say for drivers who are not regular on this route this split can take them by surprise it is a case of over speeding and it's a case of uh, people missing the sudden uh, configuration change in the road from a six, uh, three lane to a two lane if the person was wearing seat belt the couple of people the two people who are sitting at the uh, rear they could have been saved with some serious injuries oh. gynecologist dr anahita pandole and her husband darius pandole who survived the crash were brought by road to HN Reliance Foundation Hospital in Mumbai on Monday. The autopsies of Cyrus Mistry and Jahangir Pandole have been completed at JJ Hospital. Doctors said that multiple injuries were found on Mistry, including those to head and spinal curve. The horrific accident has put the spotlight on road design of national highways in India. With Dev Amish Kotak, Bureau Report, India Today.
Uh, Piyush, why is it uh, that you know people are so hesitant in wearing their seat belts in the back of the car? Is there that belief that it's safer largely to sit in the back seat, that there's uh, nothing that could possibly happen, even if there's a crash, you hit the seat in front of you so nothing could happen? I think there is a there is some sort of a general perception that um, you know because you are sitting on the rear side uh, rear seat it's more safe because you don't have a dashboard in front into which you can go and collide into and so people feel that it may not be required for that reason but what people end up ignoring is that in a high speed crash uh, you know and the force that is involved in such crashes uh, people in many many cases including in this case prima facie uh, go and interact with the vehicle interior uh, they might also when collide with other uh, passengers, fellow passengers, and injure each other, uh, or, and in many cases, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, it leads to deaths. And then there, there is a case of ejection that people get ejected from vehicles through the windshield, through the windows, uh, because they don't wear seatbelts. So there is a uh, there is a huge uh, challenge in terms of uh, sensitization. Uh, the law has been there for a while, uh, which mandates uh, all front-facing passengers, uh, which means everybody who's looking in the direction of travel. Uh, mm. to wear seat belts uh, but the implementation of that unfortunately uh, by the enforcing authorities has been limited to the front uh, front position seat belt not necessarily front facing so that uh, disconnect in the uh, enforcement as well as awareness is uh, you know needs to be dealt with and uh, sure. then of course there are other factors around engineering and uh, uh, you know of the roads as well as within vehicles certain things that are required that can be done yeah. Uh, to ensure higher compliance, uh, you know, and, and prevent such crashes. There's a clear need for awareness. There's also a clear need for enforcement. Now, Cyrus Mystery's death in this particular accident has brought back a lot of tra tragic memories, really, of several other high-profile personalities who lost their lives in such road accidents. Mystery is not the first eminent personality to have lost his life in this kind of a shocking crash. And in our next report, we take a look back at some high-profile known faces who suffered a similar fate. A billionaire's life cut short in a road mishap. Cyrus Mystery's untimely demise in the Palghar road accident brings back unfortunate memories of several other high-profile personalities who lost their lives in similar mishaps. From Gyani Jail Singh, who was a former president of India, to Congress leader Rajesh Pilot, Union Minister Gopinath Munde, and Punjabi actor turned activist Deep Sidhu. Road mishaps have killed many VVIPs. Deep Sidhu, accused in Red Fort violence case on Republic Day in 2021, during the farm stir, was killed after his SUV rammed a truck on the highway in Sonipat on February 15th this year. Maharashtra BJP heavyweight Gopinath Munde, a cabinet minister in Narendra Modi government, was killed in June 2014 after his car was rammed by a speeding cab while Munde was on his way to the Delhi airport. He was rushed to Ames, but succumbed to fatal injuries. The father of Congress leader Sachin Pilot, Rajesh Pilot, was killed in a car accident in Bhadana in his parliamentary constituency, Dosa, on June 11, 2000. His car had rammed a state transport bus. Former President of India, Gyani Jail Singh, succumbed to multiple injuries on Christmas Day in 1994, a month after he met with a car accident near Chandigarh. A truck driving on the wrong side of the road had hit the car of the former President. On September 21, 2021, Marathi actor Ishwari Deshpande breathe her last after a car accident in Goa. Telugu actress Gayatri, a.k.a. Dolly D. Cruises, plunged into a divider in Hyderabad on March 18. While she died on the spot, her friend Rathor breathed his last at a private hospital.
Kannada television actor Rekha Sindhu had died in May 2017. She was travelling on the Chennai Bengaluru highway when her car met with an accident. India reports more than 1 lakh deaths each year in road accidents. In 2021, India topped the world with 11% of global deaths in road mishaps. Bureau Report, India Today. So many tragic road accidents and yet we haven't really learned our lesson, have we? Let's also put it out there that if you're not wearing your rear seat belt, it is a violation and attracts a fine of 1,000 rupees. Yes, implementation, enforcement is a problem, but we have to do our bit for our own safety. That's all we have time for in this edition of 6 p.m. Prime. Thanks very much for joining us. I'd like to also thank Mr. Piyush Tiwari for taking the time out and joining us here on India Today. Thanks for tuning in. Good night.